So what is osteopathic medicine? As a DO, which is like the first two letters of doctor, I have the same license as an MD. But additionally, I get training in physical medicine, similar to physical therapist or chiropractor. The MD that founded our field noticed that most of his patients had muscle skeletal problems that were interfering with blood and nerve supply. So part of our treatment evaluation is to ascertain how much of a patient's problem is a metabolic problem, where there's an imbalance with the body chemistry, versus how much is a muscle skeletal problem interfering with blood and nerve supply. So from an osteopathic perspective, we're trained to evaluate and treat the areas of the body that's affecting their health concern. The treatment approach is problem-focused, whole body, with a soft tissue emphasis. Because we found that most of the chronic muscle skeletal problems tend to be in the soft tissue. And this is why even well-executed adjustments typically don't hold and need to be done more frequently. Treatment considerations should need to be included looking at past problems due to their accumulated effects. Typical question and concerns I have from patients are, what if I've had some past experiences where the treatment's been ineffective or a bad effect? Well, every therapy varies depending on the therapist. And so one of the things I've noticed is that the main problem with physical medicine is what I call dosage of therapy. Sometimes a practitioner can use too much force and I find the best effect is when I work alongside with the patient and monitor the amount of force being used. Next question I often get is, how many treatments is it gonna take? That's often hard to determine, but a rough rule of estimate is that it takes one month of healing for every year of symptoms. So the bottom line is, don't accept chronic pain as your reality.